I want to support the, by the majority leader in the context of the amendment of this House standing orders, not standing orders, but calendar, sorry, so that we facilitate the appearances of the cabinet secretaries on Wednesday morning in the sitting so that they answer to questions which honorable members have put forward regarding their respective ministries. I have listened through the comments and contribution by the honorable Senator Kajwang, and I want to confirm to him that indeed the House Business Committee sat debated on the issues, the pros and cons, and the reasons which were put forward as to why we need these cabinet secretaries to appear before this House. I am alive to the fact that this House also debated in the course of the motion to amend the standing orders. It was acrimonious, but at the end of the day, Mr. Speaker, this House is mandated to make sure that the people who've been given mandate as cabinet secretaries are responsible for what happens in their ministries. That responsibility, Honorable Speaker, can only be achieved when the said cabinet secretaries are called upon by the House to appear and respond substantively to the questions with which the Honorable Senators have asked. And these questions, Mr. Speaker, I am aware are questions regarding the performance by those cabinet secretaries in their ministries on the roles which Kenyans expect them to do. Mr. Speaker, I am equally aware that there is an issue that was raised as regards the appearances by the cabinet secretaries in the House being non-members to this House. And I want to convince the members that that conversation, Mr. Speaker, was in the context of a misunderstanding of the persons who will be expected to appear before this House. And the order is, Mr. Speaker, as put clearly by the Honorable Senator Kajwang, that the only people who will appear in this House are the cabinet secretaries who are constitutionally appointed, vetted by the National Assembly, sworn into office, are the only ones who will appear here. We do not expect any other character, any other person other than a cabinet secretary to appear in this particular house. This house under the constitution has got its membership established. That appearance cannot be construed as the person coming as a member of this house. It is a member who has been summoned to appear to answer to questions relevant to their delivery of services to the people of Kenya. Mr. Speaker, as I support this motion, I also want to encourage the members of this House to heed the provisions of those standing orders so that we ensure that the questions that we put forward are questions that will support the performance of the House in its role in legislation, in oversight, and in ensuring that the people of Kenya are actually served specifically provided for, the kind of questions, how they are supposed to be uh, uh, put forward, and Mr. Speaker, the opportunity to grant members additional time for supplementary questions gives us an opportunity beyond the written question that has been sent to ensure that if the said cabinet secretary is not sufficiently responding to the question, the member will have that opportunity to do it. I want to encourage the members to seize the opportunity and make sure that we make the debate in the House, the performance of the cabinet secretaries, to be an opportunity for the people of Kenya to feel that this House indeed is doing the work of a Senate, an upper house, and also ensuring that service to the people are appropriately delivered. Mr. Speaker, I support.